Hello everyone, with camping, caravanning and motorhome season upon us yet again, I thought I'd have a look at another portable washing machine and this LeisureWise collapsible washing machine is the smallest portable washer I've shown you on my channel so far. Unlike the previous compact LeisureWise machine I showed you, this doesn't have a spinner function, although the spinner function on the previous model was more or less next to useless. So this machine is just a washing machine. You can wash small loads in it. And of course, once you've drained the washing water and added clean water, you can use it to rinse your clothes as well. It just won't spin them. So you have to take out your clothes, wring them dry, and then hang them out to dry properly. So without any further ado, let's get this open. And I am a caravanner myself. So I will be taking this portable machine on my next caravan trip to Scotland. So stay tuned for that video. But if it works in my home, it will work in the caravan as well. I believe it's only 150 watts. Yes, 150 watt motor. So it doesn't take a lot of power to operate this machine. Okay, let's open it up. Out it comes and this is its compact size so yeah it's not huge we've got instructions and inside we've got very thin two very thin hoses one will be a fill hose and one will be the drain hose very thin and pretty short so this is designed to be used really next to your sink I think it will fit next to my sink in my caravan, but I'll have to save that for another video when I'm actually in the caravan. But yeah, it's compact enough. And as you saw, all the, the hoses do store inside. And also on the back, we've got cord storage. So let's uh, release the cable. This is a UK version, so it's fitted with a UK plug, but I'm sure you can buy this in other countries fitted with the appropriate plug for your country. So I'd say that's uh, just over a metre in length, the mains cable. And then we have a connection here. I'm assuming that, we, that will be for the drain hose. And you just fill it up from the top. If the particular hose, this one, this is not going to fit any sort of tap that I know of. It's pretty useless. You'd need some sort of adapter. But of course, you might be able to fill it direct using the tap from your sink if it's near enough and you've got one of those taller swivel taps. It might be possible, but probably not actually when this is expanded. So you can fill it with a jug or a bucket. There's a bit of packaging on top of the lid that I need to remove. And the lid is hinged, so it's permanently attached to the washing machine and it does click into place when the machine is in use to prevent any splashing. But there's no safety cutout or anything. When you open this lid, the washer will still continue to function before you turn it off. I can see here there is a fill inlet for the small flexible fill pipe that goes on that way. But as I said, that's not going to fit any tap I know, certainly not my caravan tap that's got a sort of oblong end. So you will need some sort of adapter if you want to fill it from a tap, but probably most people will fill this using a bucket or a jug. But it's, it's there, fits on the top, and the very short drain hose fits onto here. You'll see this metal clip on one end. Now that's the side that goes in to the machine itself. So you just push it, squeeze the clip, and at the same time, push the hose on as far as it'll go, and just make sure the clip is secured the hose. Now this, this washing machine will start to drain if you have the hose in this position. So when you want to drain the water, that's all you do. So as I said, this is best positioned right next to your sink on the draining board or work surface. So this needs to be clipped up when the washing machine is expanded and that will stop the water from draining out because there's no pump, there's no switch to drain it. It's a very basic machine. 
you just turn it on with the timer it'll wash for the time you set it and it'll switch off then you have to manually drain it and you'll see at the front there is a clockwork timer here it goes up to 15 minutes it's very mechanical you can hear it ticking and it will just stop when the washing's finished so up to 15 minutes maximum for heavily soiled garments to expand the washing machine to its working position you need to open the lid and then pull up this middle section so okay, that's it there we go so you can see it is now fully expanded with quite a reasonable for this size of washer a reasonable sized washing cavity this will take 2.5 kilograms of laundry so a pair of jeans several pairs of underpants and socks a few shirts blouses t-shirts that'll be fine it might at a push wash a single duvet cover but nothing much more than that you may get a double one in there i have single beds in my caravan so if a, one of my dogs does anything disgusting on one of the bed covers it's possible i can wash it in this instead of paying for the uh, on-site washing machine so yes even fully expanded it doesn't take up too much room at all okay i'm going to position this next to the sink and then we'll try this out as you can see i've got my leisure wise portable washing machine on a flat secure surface next to the sink just around the side here where i fitted the drain hose you'll see that there's a little slot near the top that's designed to fit this little clip so make sure before you start to fill the washing machine that the drain hose is securely clipped in this position otherwise if it's like that the water you put in is just going to start to drain out immediately so make sure it's fitted there this machine has two water levels marked on the inside of the flexible tub one marked h and one marked m so if you're doing a small load you can fill the washer to about this level if you're doing a fuller load then it needs to be around here regarding water temperature i wouldn't put anything in above hand hot water it says to put warm water in the machine use warm or cold water do not put boiling water in it or very hot water because it's likely to distort the plastic housing or the flexible part of the washer so anything that you could safely keep your hands in if you're washing by hand that sort of temperature will be fine to use in this in this machine and of course if you use it to rinse then you can just put cold water in after the garments have been washed as you can see the supplied fill hose is absolutely no use whatsoever for this tap so it's up to you to source a suitable adapter should you want to connect the washing machine directly to the tap but i think most people in the reviews i've read discard this and just fill the machine up using a bucket or several jugs of water the instructions for this washing machine tell you to put the clothes in first then the warm water and detergent but it's quite hard to determine what's 2.5 kilograms of clothing unless you've got scales with you so in practice you'll know if you've overloaded the machine i've got a small load here i'm just going to pop in consisting mainly of some pants and socks and uh, a few long sleeved t-shirts so the dry load comes up to about here on the tub so now i'm going to fill it with water and because i can't use the supplied hose i'm going to have to use a five liter bucket into the third bucket i'm going to add my liquid washing detergent so it has a chance to dilute before i add it to the wash load so only a small amount that's just under half a cap should be sufficient for this just rinse it under to get all the detergent out and then when this bucket's full it means i've added 15 liters of water to the machine as long as you don't go over the h level you should be fine so i'm going to have a look at the level once i've added the third bucket okay. 
With my clothes added and 15 litres of water in the tub, it reaches just under the H line, so I'm fine to start using the machine. So all I have to do now is close the lid and set the timer. You can use the machine with the lid open or open the lid during the washing process if you want to check on your clothes for any reason. And I'll be showing you this machine in action, so I'll be leaving the lid open so we can see the action of the machine. It does have a reverse action. It'll spin one way and then the other. So now all we have to do is set the timer and leave the machine to do its job. It's hard to convey the noise level of an appliance in a YouTube video, but take it from me, this LeisureWise portable washer is very quiet. You could certainly have it running in the background and still be watching your favorite TV program in your caravan or listening to the radio or doing whatever you want to do in your caravan or motorhome or wherever you want to use this. You don't have to have a caravan or motorhome to have this machine. You might live in an apartment that doesn't have the facility for a washing machine and you don't like going to the laundrette all the time. This machine will save a lot of effort hand washing the clothes. Obviously you still have to wring them out by hand but I'd much rather have this machine than having to try wash everything by hand in the sink. The washing machine has finished washing the load. I've now got to empty out the wash water and add some clean water for the first rinse. Now, because my sink is this side, I'm going to have to rotate the washer so I can fit the drain hose over. So if you can incorporate the washing machine on this side of the sink, that's better. But I can't in my situation because there's a cupboard over the sink and I can't open the washing machine properly. So ideally, you'd want the washing machine on the other side. But I can turn it round, like so, and then empty it by directing the hose into the sink. When all the wash water has emptied from the machine, remember to clip the drain hose back onto its position at the top of the wash tub before filling it with rinse water. What you can do at this stage, and this is optional, you don't have to, but if you want to get as much of the soapy water out of the clothes before you add rinse water, you can take the garments out and then just squeeze them over the sink and that way you'll extract more of the soapy water. But as I said, you don't have to do it. If you've got very sensitive skin and want to extract as much of the detergent you can before starting the rinse, then this is something you could do, but I'm not going to do it in this case. So we've got the wet, soapy clothes in the tub. We need to add at least two tubfuls of clean water to rinse the wash load.
With the first rinse completed, it's now time to empty the rinse water. And again, when the rinse water has drained from the machine, remember to pop the drain hose back on the clip and then refill it for a second rinse. Two rinses should be fine for most loads, but if you've got very sensitive skin or you notice there's still quite a lot of suds left in the wash tub, you could do a third rinse. On your final rinse, if you want to add fabric softener, this is the time to do it. I'm going to add half a capful of my regular softener into the final bucket of water. And then pour it into the machine. With the load washed and rinsed, it's now time to empty the tub. So I'll just have to again rotate it so the drain is above the sink. Squeak, squeak. And as it's emptying, I can start removing the garments. Obviously, they are going to be soaking wet, so do this over your sink. I've got a bit tangled up again. I'll take out this pair of underpants. Absolutely spotlessly clean. Not a hint of skid marks. Perfect. So now this is the most manual part of the job. You've got to wring out the clothing as much as you can. And obviously if you've got an old mangle use that but otherwise it's the old-fashioned way and then I'm going to put them into a clean bowl here washed rinse and uh, run dry so I'm going to do that with a whole wash load and then weather permitting hang them out to dry when the washing machine is emptied it's a good idea to just tip it up slightly you'll find there's always a little bit of residue water left in the tub and then before storing it away obviously unplug and then just wipe around the outside with a towel because you will get drips of water on it and it's also a good idea to wipe around the inside of the wash tub once all that's dry you can store the cable on the provided cable hooks here and the plug just fits into this recess here. At the time of making this video, which is April 2023, you'll find this LeisureWise portable washing machine online for around £70. But I didn't pay £70 for mine, I paid £41.99 delivered from aldi.co.uk. So head over to Aldi's website, you'll see this priced at £69.99, pop it in your basket, and then add the discount code OUTDOOR40, that's all capital letters, OUTDOOR40, and you'll get an amazing 40% off this portable washer. That's the only reason I bought it. I thought I can't resist at under £42, £41.99. I thought that's a bargain. So if you're watching this video in April 2023 and you want one of these, you need to head over to Aldi's website pretty quick and use the code OUTDOOR40. I must say I'm not affiliated with LeisureWise or Aldi. I purchased this myself with my own money. I'm just sharing you that discount code should you be interested in this LeisureWise portable machine. If you have any comments or questions about this portable washer, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe and you'll be updated of all my new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.